This is Otaku No Video, episode 18, Orson Welles for the Victory. So, what have we been watching lately? Genius Party. Talk away. BSS, the fan sub group, has only done so many shorts of Genius Party. I think they left two or three out. Okay. I have talked about it before, but I finally finished it. Um, it is very, very much fun if you are... That doesn't make sense. It's a lot of fun if you're... Even if you're not a Studio 4C person, which I'm not... I'm becoming one, but I, I'm not <laughs> quite one yet. Um, but I certainly... I'm. Let's put it this way. I like this movie enough that I would, I'm thinking about buying the R2. Wow. Which... You know, I'm I'm willing to spend fifty bucks on this, so bear with me. But it's a whole bunch of different shorts. They're, I think they're about twenty minutes long, except for like the opening one, which is only, I don't know, like ten or something like that. I watched it. And, and like, are they all by Studio Four C? I believe so. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. They're all very, uh, very visually interesting. Well, not from the not from the perspective of mise-en-scene, which is uh, the way things are placed in the shot or anything like that. Uh, and for animation, that's... It's not... Well, yeah, it is. It's sort of uncommon that people are really into that with animation because animation is very much about you know how much movement is going on and things like that. Um, but this is certainly higher-grade material. Again, these are shorts. They're film quality... Uh, very weird. Uh, there's actually one short that's very that made me think of Kaiba. Oh. They're interesting to reflect on, and I, I think they're most of them are just the right length. That mm-hmm. even if you're not really into them, you know they they cut off or whatever. And they're good if you're. I found them good if if you're willing to think about them, you get a little bit more out of them. Mm-hmm. I I just like them. They're you know. I believe the the one that rem, that uh, reminded me of Kaiba was very. Uh, I don't think it had dialogue, actually. Okay, wow. Yeah. So some of these are. Thank you. You're, you're telling. You know, I'm here to watch a film. I I want to see. I. So, so these are all pretty like experimental films, as opposed to more sort of um, you know short story type things. Funny part about that is that I I think there are only like two experimental. Well. Quasi-experimental ones. Mm-hmm. The rest are sort of short story. They're not, you know, they, they could get their own series and actually be really fun if one or two of them did. Mm. Uh, but there, there's one that's fairly, I felt, well, actually there were, yeah, I guess that one comes to mind. It felt sort of generic for the short story thing. Uh, essentially, a magical paintbrush from the sky falls and uh, falls to earth, and the only one who can use it is like a five-year-old. Okay. And he can paint things into existence, mm-hmm. and then aliens show up trying to take it back, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know th- that felt sort of cliched, but it was pretty cool. Uh, I, well, I'm also watching this on my computer screen, so it would probably be a totally different experience if I were to see this in a the theater. It, it's hard to describe. I mean, a lot of the shorts are. Some of them are a little weird. And off-putting in some ways, where they, uh, if you're thinking about them, they don't completely line up. So, do which, they have like um, a similar visual style, or are they all very different visual styles? They're all pretty different. Okay, gotcha. So, so they're, they're yeah, they're completely disconnected. Gotcha. Yeah, they're they're just shorts. They're yeah, and actually, I'm I'm sort of upset that they didn't translate. Uh, I don't know which number it is. I think it's. Three, I want to say. There's a really philosophical one that's like got its own weird art style going on. Um, it's probably why they didn't translate. And by fil- yeah, well, it was more of a the way it ended. I went to their website and looked at it, or looked at the post they made when they posted it, and it, it sounded more like uh, you know we're getting ready for the new season. We don't have time to translate. Blah 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 blah. Gotcha. Things like that. Apparently, there's a lot of big Japanese words used, things like that. Yeah, for a philosophical thing, that's got to be a tough thing to translate. Yeah, and there's probably a ton of word plays and things like that, <laughs> so it's... I imagine that's so much fun. Mm-hmm. Favorite short would have to be the last one. I don't think they build, per se. Okay. That can be good. 
Yeah, not not like Gotham Knight as much where I, I felt mm. yeah, I- exactly. And and actually that sort of that unpredictability is really just fun. It's this is the sort of thing that, you know, like uh the first short in memories. Uh mm-hmm. It, it's fun to, you know, like, when people think of anime, they don't necessarily think of things like this, and then you show them to them, and they're like, I think I just crapped my pants. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> yeah. Here's Perfect Blue. Have fun. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, even even with these, it was like, man, there's some weird stuff going on. I don't even know where we are, and, you know, things like that. But it was... It, it's strong. It's mm. worth seeing... You know, I, I wouldn't say that it's mind-altering or mind-shattering or anything okay. like that, but I think it's fun to think about. It's fun to relate to. My favorite chart would have to be the last one, as I already mentioned. Um, I feel like there are some deep-seated flaws in that one, but I, I like it regardless. Um, <laughs> as in, like, the writing is pretty abysmal. There, okay. there, there are some moments where it's like... Or actually, there's some action... There's one action sequence where we... Where I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Where is this going? Uh, but wow, it's over dramatic, over dramatized. I was gonna say, but that's probably not a word. So yeah, it's it's fun, and they're all pretty fun. At the very least, it's free downloadable fan subs. So go check it out, please. I, I think it's pretty willing of your, or it's worth your time. I, I think for a for a fun little group of shorts, just watch them whenever you know max 20 minutes or whatever that's really not so bad I, nice there's nothing really thick I don't, I don't think there's anything really thick I think it's just a uh, fun set of shorts uh, unfortunately I think they do take the animation a little bit further than they do the ideas which okay. this is a visual art yeah whatever how long is it total let's see well there are seven shorts but they didn't translate a few so I'm gonna guess you know Hour, ten minutes, something like that. Is that all? Okay. Yeah, I think the last one's only like eleven minutes long or less. Hmm. So things like that. It's I. You know what? I'm talking out of my butt. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, most most of the in, in the middle ones seemed to, or the in the middle ones that BSS translated seemed to be about twenty minutes long. But okay. Yeah. So it. You know, it's it's fairly long, but not. And maybe I would get really sore watching it all at once or something mm. like that, but I don't know. It, it seems like it would be fun to watch in a theater. I would definitely be up for that. Sounds cool. Yeah, it, it really is. And I can, I mean, unlike Amazing Nuts, this is actually still worth like $45 if you buy it new. So, mm-hmm. you know, whereas Amazing Nuts is standard edition copies like, Seventeen ninety nine or something like that, <laughs> and it's got two one star reviews on the Japanese mm, Amazon. Wow! Yeah, they really like that one. <laughs> mm. But see the two chan discussion on that one. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure they're not very happy, but uh, I, I'm definitely up for for Genius Party Beyond. I really, really want to see more. I really commend them because you know, thank you. We don't need big eyes and, you know, small mouth big eyes. We, we don't need that. Well, I mean, it's perfectly fine to draw in that manner, but mm-hmm. I like seeing, and actually it would be really cool if we saw more stuff that was a little bit more experimental. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm talking like, you know, Kai 